Yeah. And like any traditional boxer uses a quick flurry of punches alongside slower but long reaching flicker attacks. Okay. And those flicker punches are actually sick. A variety of target combos are available from add flicker punches, giving you easy options to pile up the damage even from a distance. You can even, yeah. No, like doing target combos from this distance is actually wild. When you hit confirm the flicker punch, like into target combo, like from this far, nah, this is insane. Even if an opponent stays out of your regular flicker attack range, you can use Psycho Flicker, a special move that covers even more ground to control the ground game. Ah, that's crazy, man. Even from that, okay, that's a Psycho Knuckle, though. Psycho Spark. Those range punches that generate a, a ball of psycho power. Oh yeah, that's the one that psycho spar. You can actually deflect fireballs as well. Not look, not deflect, but let's say uh, neutralize fireballs, and he can throw back his own fireball, just like as a five. But this version is a bit different. But oh, he can actually. Yeah, the light version though looks pretty slow. If you compare it with the SF5 version, the light version is way slower in this one, I think. Yep, you can neutralize enemies' fireball and throw your own fireball. But the psycho spark, but the psycho spark and shoot become two heat attacks, and you can actually juggle that up. We have, seen, we have seen it in the trailer. And well, it seems like it's minus two as well on block. So not bad for... Not bad for pressuring though. Let's say it might work like... I don't know, Ken's EX Fireball, which is minus two as well. Or another, let's say, EX Attack, yeah. And if the opponent gets hit with that psycho, EX Psycho Spark, uh, well, there's where you can juggle it after it. Oh, was that like a maybe Psycho Upper? Yeah, Psycho Upper, Uppercut. Unleash a powerful Uppercut Cloak in Psycho Power. Black version, that's a medium version and a heavy version. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Light version actually good for anti-airing well in sf5 he got his flying kick as an anti-air re reliable anti-air but in this one seems like it's gonna the psycho opera is gonna be the option to go for anti-airs uh since i mean it's, he doesn't use kicks in this game so he's not gonna use the flying kick again as an anti-air he uses punches now like so um yep he's going with with the Psycho upper light version, like better, I think, for the anti or a quick, like quicker version. I guess the the medium and heavy version might work like the Dragon Cans or real Dragon Punches, where the range, like if the opponents jump, like if the opponent. Actually, it's far from yeah. Let's say the range you can use a heavy version. If it's like a close jump in, let's better go with the light version or mid range, medium, ver um, medium version, like or close the light version. Yeah, and you can even juggle it like wow. Yeah, flying kick was slim, like it's. SF5 design wasn't that good to be honest. Like, and this one is he's way way more polished, if you ask. Way way more polished in this game. Looks way way better. Uh, yeah. 
You can even... Oh, the thing is you gotta react like super fast with that like psycho offer so you can follow up with the flicker punches. With a psycho flicker, I think is um I'm not sure how is that move called, but yeah, seems like you can follow up with that. Oh, you can even follow up with a maybe heavy psycho upper. Yeah. Like light psycho upper into heavy psycho upper. Ah, that's crazy. And the overdrive version of the psycho upper in this game is way different. A bit different though. Like his is not like a a launcher like it used to be in SO5, but it's more like he slams you in the ground. Like the second punch, like definitely slams you in the ground and it can be used to even go through projectiles. Look at that. Man, that's crazy though. Like, I think it might be easier. I mean, he, he even got better range with hitting that, like, instead of Ken, for example. Like, in order to get, like, a EXP, like, go through a, far, through a fireball, is you gotta be, like, way closer. And it's actually, let's say, way, like, more difficult to react, like, with an EXP at that range when he throws a fireball. And since Psycho Upper, I'm not sure how it's gonna. Like Psycho Upper in the in ESA five version was like you, you you only had to press three punch buttons for the EX version. I'm wondering how it's gonna be in this version because if it's like that easy, now it's gonna be a pain in the ass. Like because it's gonna be like so easy to react to fireballs with EX Psycho Psycho Upper. Like it will be so easy. If Psycho Upper, um, if Psycho Upper is like in SF5, you gotta press like three buttons. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be easier to react to fireballs, and it's gonna be a pain. God damn it! But well, who knows? I I still don't know who's got, how's gonna be his command list. To be honest, I'm not sure he's gonna be back to his easy commands or or what. Like yeah, it's definitely that move definitely gotta be minus. That move definitely gotta be minus. It's too uh, like it's too good to be like plus. So yeah, this attack takes some time to come out. So it, I wouldn't try and snipe an opponent's quick attacks with it. But if they screw up and are wide open after an attack, hit them hard with this. Well, it works as an uh, ex reversal. P-O-O-D reversal. EXEP. Invincible EX reversal. Like as a five cycle blitz. Oh, that's a cycle blitz. That's a that's a series of punches that you can can be used as a juggle after like uh psycho upper two. Not bad. Yeah, pretty good. Like, it, it can be used with, like, from target combos, too. From target combos. Nah, okay. It's, it's not safe. It's not safe. Best to use to end combos, yeah. To make sure it connects. On this block, I believe you o leaves you open. And yeah, you can be punished. Pepper them with a series of body blows. Oh, I think this version is... This is the overdrive version. I think that's this one is the ones that is safe. Oh wow, yeah, this is safe. It's minus two. But there's a small gap there. I guess I I wonder if you can interrupt it. Wow. I wonder if you can interrupt that. I almost forgot the best part. You're gonna be dealing with some saucy damage if this hits. So if you've seen an opening, go all in. Psycho Flicker. Let's go. Oh, this is the one that you can charge. 
Quick Flicker, Jab Cloak, and Psycho Power hold down a button to boost its attack properties. Or cancel into Kill Rush. I think Kill Rush is, is his dash, if I'm not, not mistaken. But yeah, you can this is, you can definitely charge up this Flicker, the Psycho Flicker, and works as a hook as well if you fully charge it. So you can, yeah, grab your opponent and work for a juggle, for a juggle attack. Yeah, that's basically like his be triggered too, I think. Oh uh, no, he actually No, he I think he can he he had he he has that in as a 5 as a special move too, if I'm not mis if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he, he the boost is the boosted version of this uh, okay. While you're sharding up, you can also offer a kill rush instead. Oh, yeah, that's his forward dash. After yeah, cancel. You can cancel with a back dash and, and a forward dash. That's crazy, man. Now imagine the mind games with that, like the the bait the baits and stuff. Holy crap, dude. This version of the flicker will end opponents immediately. That's a EX version. Oh yeah. Immediately, you can follow up with another attack. Oh yeah, and you are at a banish even is is blocked. What? Is plus? My goodness. Well, I think I think it was plus in the SF5 too, right? I don't remember. Yeah, that, that's insane pressure. If you insane pressure if they block that and yeah, like if the downside, well, it can be countered with a drive impact, so better be careful using that. That the, the the skill rush, perform a bob or weave. I'll take a step back. Use useful for helping to create distance from the opponent while analyzing this situation. Oh, what he did there? What? You can throw. So he throw a flicker jab, and he you can actually back dash after it, like cancel it. So you can cancel the flicker jab with the with the kill rush. During kill rush four, you got two attack options, both the same input but different timings. Get an input, and during the first half of the rush of kills for a kill switch break, or do it in the later half to bust out kill switch chaser. Jesus, target combo. Oh, wow. Like insane juggles. That looks great. Either boom, boom, Ender like psycho upper Ender. It looks so good, actually. Either attack leave you open to counter. Okay. I'll showcase with now the second second costume. Unleashes a series of high speed flicker jabs cloak and psycho power. I think oh yeah, that's the that's his level one super. Let's put it to normal now. Normal speed. Okay. Yo, so level one is the is the one to go with wake up supers and reactions. Feels like Ken's level one. Let's say works like Ken's level one super. Invincible to hits, throws, but vulnerable for, uh, to to fireballs. And yeah, just don't throw it out like crazy because you're gonna get punished hard for it.
Psycho Storm, yeah, Psycho Storm. Okay, yeah, we know. Well, 50-50s, man, that's... All boils down to 50-50s with level 1, wake up. And this is basically his Betrayer 1 from Street Fighter 5. When he throws it and you're actually plus, well, you can use his, your Psycho... Or Psycho Flicker charged. And, yeah. To pull in your opponent. Pressure. If he blocks. If not, well, I guess you got a series of sick juggle combos after hitting that uh, level 2. Just like B Trigger 1 at Psycho Chamber. Ties together a feet and hands on opponent before delivering a series of... Yeah, that, that's his level 3. Chains up your, it chains up your opponent. Makes him basically like a sandbag. <laughs> Turns your opponent into a sandbag. And bam, bam. Oh, this is critical R version. It's different though. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna be his Skrikal R version. No, okay, this... That's his level... This, this gotta be his level 3, and the other one is Skrikal R version, though. Or nah. Nah, I'm confused now, like... Who's... Which one is the normal version, and which one is the Skrikal version? Or both are just the same, or looks the same, I don't know. Let's, let's watch it again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, special move. Like, you can cancel it from special move, yeah. Any special move, like EX moves as well. Of course. Reaction. Yeah, that gotta be... Like, the first gotta be is... is and the, the other one is uh, a version, but yeah.